In this video, we are going to go over the Cisco SD Access Fabric Components. And the first component that we have is the Fabric Edge Note, which is part of the overlay network for the SD Access. And this fabric device um, connects wired endpoints to the SD Fabric. The Fabric Edge node is part of the overlay network, which is a virtual or a tunnel network that virtually interconnects all the network devices, forming a fabric of interconnected devices. And down here, what you're going to have is, is going to be your, you know, your computers, your servers, and you also your wireless, um, uh, your wireless um, APs, and the. The, this overlay network is also called the SD Access Fabric, and it provides policy-based network segmentation, host mobility for wired and wireless hosts, and enhanced security beyond the normal switching and routing capabilities of traditional networks. And this overlay, um, you know, this overlay fabric is run by the VXLAN, which is the tunneling technology used for the fabric um, data plane and is based on the virtual extensive LAN or VXLAN and we are uh, and they use in VXLAN um, for this fabric because it's capable of running layer 2 and also layer 3 right and the VXLAN specification was enhanced for the SD access to support the Cisco TrustSec scalable groups group tags or SGTs and then after that we have the intermediate intermediate nodes which is the underlay um, and these are um, routers or extended switches that do not provide any sort of SD access fabric role other than underlay services. Basically, they are just connecting the fabric edge nodes with, um, with the other nodes that we're going to talk about. So they don't provide anything but um, basically wire and connectivity between devices. And uh, the underlay is the underlying physical layer basically and the only purpose like I said is to just transport data packets between network devices for the SD access fabric overlay and there's two different ways to basically de deploy this um, one is through the CLI or an API um, and the other ways to do it an automated way um, and which is just fully by using the Cisco DNA center LAN automation feature. Then after that, we have the border nodes, um, which is also part of the overlay network. And this fabric device, um, which is basically a core layer device, connects external layer three networks to the SDA fabric, right? Which is run by the data control or the VXLAN. Then after that, we have our fabric wireless controller, um, which is also, um, and this fabric device connects APs and wireless endpoints to the SDA fabric, and it resides outside of the SDA fabric, as you can see over here. Um, and then we have our control plane node, which is LISP, um, which is part of the overlay network. And this control plane node is run by it is running Lisp, and Lisp is basically um, the locator ID separation protocol. And what this does is it simplifies traditional routing environments by eliminating the need for each router to process every possible IP, destination address, and route. Okay, so this is basically our control plane and the VXLAN is going to be our data plane, right? Running all the tunnels between the fabric edge nodes and the border nodes as well. And then we have the Identity Service Engine, or ICE. And ICE um, role is to provide all the identity and policy services for the physical layer and network layer. ICE provides Network Access Control, or NAC and identity services for dynamic endpoint to group mapping and policy definition in a variety of ways, including using 802.1x. And ICE uses 
um, the Cisco Trust Sec or CTS and the Cisco Trust Sec SGT tags are assigned to authenticate um, to authenticated groups of users or end devices. Um, network policy, for example, ACLs, quality of service, um, you know, which is then applied through the SE access fabric based on the SGT tag instead of the network address like MAC, IPv4, or IPv6. After that, we have the um, NDP, which is the DNA assurance. And the NDP is a data collection and analytics and assurance subsystem that is integrated directly into the Cisco DNA Center. And then after that, we have the DNA automation or the NCP. And this is a subsystem integrated directly into Cisco DNA Center that provides all the underlay and fabric automation and orchestration services for the physical and network layers. So we have um, basically I have a couple layers over here. Uh, we have the network layer, which is run by Lisp, this control plane node over here, and VXLAN. Like I said before, VXLAN is the one running all the tunnels between the nodes. And the SD access fabric roles, we have a couple of roles that we went over. We went over the fabric border node, which is at the end, um, connecting, um, connecting the outside network to the SDA fabric. We have the fabric edge node, which is all the way down here, the control plane node over here, and the wireless LAN controller, which is outside over here. And we have the control layer. The control layer is on top over here, which is running NCP, right? NCP, like I said before, is a subsystem uh, integrated directly into the Cisco DNA Center that provides all the underlay and fabric automation and orchestration. And we have the NDP. And then the P is the data collection and, and analytics. And then we have ICE. And remember, ICE is the one that provides all the identity and policy services for the physical layer and also the network layer. Make this channel grow by donating. You can go to ccdt.com slash donate, and you can either do it through PayPal or Patreon. If you select the PayPal option, um, you can select any amount you want. On Patreon, we have three different membership, three, five, and nine dollars per month, and you can cancel whenever you want. Also, if you haven't done so, go ahead and follow me on Twitter at CCNA Daily Tips, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel at CCNA Daily Tips. Go ahead and subscribe. Thank you guys. Bye-bye.